Hey everybody, this is Chewy Plays Nintendo, and today I want to go over the boatloads of new things we've learned about Animal Crossing New Horizons at PAX East. I'm not attending PAX East, so none of this footage or the screenshots are mine. I will just be leaving credits in the description as well as telling you where I found this information throughout the video. So to begin, Game Explain posted a 20 minute video of gameplay that showed off the entire demo at PAX. Here are a lot of things that we learned from that demo. One, we can have grassland extend beyond the beach. I noticed this on the My Way trailer that Nintendo posted, but we can see it much more clearly on this PAX demo map. This is a unique occurrence for some maps. Two, there's a lot of new playground furniture to place around town. Three, the loading icon is a cute little island with a palm tree. I love seeing it move. Four, Isabel and Tom Nook can be seen tidying their office. They'll either be dusting or doing some other random things around the office. 5. Tom Nook's workbench is still accessible after upgrading to resident services, though it looks a little bit like a downgrade compared to the previous workbench. 6. New DIY recipes will be marked as new when you go to your DIY screen. 7. Clumps of weeds are resources. We've seen weeds in the singular, but now they come in clumps. 8. Empty cans can be used for crafting. We're starting to get a sense of how deep the crafting system can go. It looks like a lot of items are going to go toward crafting. 9. A regular watering can requires the flimsy watering can to craft. Once again, this shows the depth of the system by showing we can upgrade items to even more powerful items. 10. Items are marked as customizable at the bottom of the screen. If an item can be customized beyond being crafted, it says so right underneath. 11. There is a special text screen to send messages that's not tied to the OS or the Switch system itself. Typically, when you have the chance to type in a Switch game, the OS provides a keyboard. New Horizons has its own keyboard built into the game. 12. Items auto stack as you pick them up. This is incredibly convenient and keeps you from spending too much time organizing your pockets. 13. The right stick lets you adjust the camera. We can now move the camera and view the world from the classic GameCube angle. I found that this is very handy for the multiplayer view. 14. You click A to pole vault. Honestly, not a big deal, but I do find myself wondering what buttons do what when playing the game. 15. All players can change their tools freely. In the E3 demo last year, the leader controlled the tools. Now, each player is free to choose the tools they use. 16. You change the leader by shaking the controller. Looks like the motion controls will be used to change leaders. Of course, there are still button commands to do the same thing, but the motion control seems faster. 17. A new menu lets you change the leader, end session, pick residence again, save and end, check how to play, and keep playing. I wonder what some of these options will show you, but it does look like you can switch out members of your party as you're playing the game. 18. When looking at the map, you can change the settings and turn the mini-map off. If you don't like it popping up whenever you stop moving, then you can just turn it off and it won't bother you. 19. Multiple special characters can visit at once. I'm not sure the circumstances of Harvey's visit, but it looks like both Kix and Harvey are spending some time in the demoed island. It makes me wonder how many special characters can visit at once, assuming both Harvey and Kix aren't located on the island yet. 20. Art seems to be missing from the museum. We've only seen the fossil fish and bug exhibits. 21. There is a lab in the back of the bug exhibit. Not sure why, but I do feel it gives some authenticity to the museum being a place of research and study. 22. Nook Miles Plus makes it easier to earn miles as you enjoy life. There are some special redemption options that only Nook Miles Plus members can get. We're not quite sure what they are yet, but it does look like we're going to be able to get some daily rewards. These next few details I found in a video posted by Great Fairy Carrie. 23. You can bounce balls. Looks like we'll be able to interact with some of the items within the world. 24. You can jump over holes. We've already seen players jump over rivers, but it's nice to see it applies to holes as well. 25. Gold spots are back. This is a classic feature from the GameCube game. It's so fun to see it return. 26. Access to a larger selection of items every day in Nook's Cranny and Able Sisters. While both stores still display wares, it seems that we'll be able to access a bigger selection through a menu. 
27. You can change your cheeks and use custom designs on your face. Not sure how the designs work, but we have seen transparent patterns that might give us some more control over our facial features. 28. Able Sisters now sell footwear. Looks like they're stepping into Kick's business. 29. Able Sisters ship to your storage at home. When you place an order and wear the clothing out, they ship what you were wearing back to your storage. 30. You do cute poses as you change your clothing. These last few details I found in tweets from Peli Cooney on Twitter. 31. Blather starts in a tent before upgrading to a museum. This is the first time we're seeing Blather start in a smaller building. This makes me think that we'll see a lot of characters experience more humble beginnings, and possibly upgrade in bigger ways. 32. Items can possibly stack to 99. Thus far, we've only seen bells do so, and they did that in the previous games, but some items are seen as stacking up to 42, so I'm assuming 99 is probably the max. 33. Messages in bottles can hold DIY recipes. Finally, the message in the bottle has finally been confirmed to return, and it looks like they're going to be pretty handy in this game. Once again, I want to credit Game Explain, Great Fairy Carry, and Peli Cooney for the footage and screenshots they provided us from PAX. There was a lot of great stuff here for us to enjoy, and it honestly makes it even harder to wait for the game. Tell me if there was anything you noticed that I missed, and be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye!